Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my mom's popo means grandma, so popo's prune cake. This is something you don't see anymore. I don't even see it in the stores to sell or to at bakeries. But when I was a kid, when we went to any wedding, they always had a little favor. Each person was given a little box that had a small piece of prune cake in it. And I remember this. But my mom's recipe is, is really moist and good. So I also have this shredder. Uh, this is going to be in the drawing. And remember, all of this month, January 2021, we promised that every video we will be doing a drawing for the shredder. So if you want to be in it, you just have to make sure you're a subscriber and comment on this video. Okay, so now let's go on with the cake. So first of all, I have here um, a half a cup of butter or eight ounces of butter. So it's one stick. But I'm going to show you first the dry ingredients. This is one and three quarter cups of flour. To that, I'm adding one eighth teaspoon of cloves, one eighth teaspoons of allspice, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. These are the dry ingredients. So you just mix it all up. And this is a really fast and easy recipe. And it comes out really good. Everybody that's eaten it really likes it. Okay. So first, we're going to beat up the, the butter at high speed. And of course, butter always has to be room temperature so it's soft. Now, gradually add the sugar. And then I have here one whole egg and two yolks. So I'm going to add them gradually. Now I'm going to scrape the bowl down. I'm going to beat it just a little bit again. Now I have here some prunes, uh, which were pretty soft. But if you have prunes that are kind of hard, what you have to do is you have to put them in the pot with a little water and cook it for about 10 minutes to soften it. And be careful because uh, although it says seedless prunes, I found one seed in here. So you want to check to make sure. So this is a cup and a half that I've chopped up. Mix this up. <coughs> now I have here three quarter cups of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can just use three quarter cups of milk and put about two teaspoons of vinegar and it'll look like buttermilk, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate. So flour, milk, flour, milk, flour, yeah? About a fourth of it. 
and just at low speed. Then add about a third of the buttermilk. And then another fourth of the flour mixture. Another third of the, uh, the buttermilk. And then some flour. the buttermilk, the rest of it, and all of the flour. And that's it. So now I'm going to put them in pans. And we clean this off and I, I just use three mini loaf pans. You can use regular pans, but I always like to make the small ones because sometimes it isn't eaten fast enough and I don't want it to spoil. You can also freeze these too. They do very well. Just wrap them up, put it in a plastic bag and you're ready to go. Okay. Kind of sticky, the prunes. Okay. So now I have here, I prepared my three pans with uh, the commercial wax paper. Don't need to grease it or anything, but I like it because it's easy to clean the pan. When you're done, you just lift the whole thing up and you just have no problems in washing the pans and reusing them, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna put this in. And you see, you can make this, and even young children can help you. Maybe they can cut up the prunes, help to measure, and they love to mix. So I know when I was in Hawaii with my grandchildren, they like to do this kind of thing. So I know they're watching. This recipe is for you, Lihi, Olivia, and Zane. And you guys can make it. And Lihi, you're old enough that I know you can follow these directions and you can help Olivia and Zane. Uh, although we've never made this particular cake, but we've made many others. So please try it and let me know how, how it comes out. Okay, just a little bit more here. But you can see how fast it was. Maybe not even 10 minutes to mix it all up. As long as you have everything ready, you can do it. And you guys have been cooking with me for a long time, so I know you love this too. Now, I know you, the three of you, Olivia, uh, Zane, and Lihi, you all can make this. You can put it together and it, it comes out really fast. And this is for the others of you, the young people who've maybe never made a cake before. You know, uh, just because no one has taught you before, I teach you in the video. So please try it. Even though this is your first time, you can do it. Maybe mom might uh, need to help you a little bit, but the rest you can do. Okay, like I said, I like to use these uh, pans because you don't eat it all one time and sometimes people don't eat it, so sometimes I will freeze it. So when it's filled like this, I usually drop it to get the air bubbles out like this. And that's it. And then, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna, I've preheated the oven to 350, and it's gonna bake for 
45 minutes. And that's it. Okay. Okay, the cakes are done. I've taken them out. But however, I must warn you, I said to use three mini pans. Uh, but I think you have to allow for four because maybe the density of the prunes, it was a lot. So it actually overflowed and I had to kind of trim off the sides. So I had, you know, after I trimmed it, it doesn't look so bad, but this is how it looks here. So I'm going to try it. Mm. Really good, moist. A lot of the spices. Okay, so this is how the uh, prune cake looks like. And even my granddaughter asked, she said, oh, it tastes like gingerbread. Well, because it has some of the same spices in it. So it's not overpowering. So you see some of the mixtures or the ingredients were like only eighth of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon. So not very strong. So it's very moist and delicious. And you can see, I can just cut it with a fork. And you can see all these black specks. Those are the prunes. So you should try it. It's really delicious. Take another piece. This is really delicious. You have to try it. And if no one told you about it, you wouldn't know that it's prunes. So it's a, it's a healthy cake. So try it out and you'll be pleased. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, uh, if you and also if you haven't subscribed do so so you can get in on the drawing thank you for watching mahalo